Hey guys and welcome to today's video. In this video we're going to be looking at absolute imports with Gatsby.js. Quickly before we start though, please consider subscribing to my channel for regular React and Gatsby content and also consider checking out my Udemy page where I've got over 10,000 students and over 1,000 reviews with courses ranging from Redux Saga, React style components and a bunch of Gatsby.js courses with WordPress, Firebase, Prismic, and I've got a new one coming up which will cover e-commerce in Gatsby. So be sure to check that out and remember subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. So I've created an example project here, an example Gatsby project, and this is a fairly common page structure to follow. So for example, we've got source components. Within components, we've got our common components, and within this pages directory, we've got our pages. And it's very common that within these pages, we'd have a bunch of nested directories. So for example, I've got a simple to-do app here, but I've separated each component. So we've got a to-dos page, but then we've got a to-dos list component and a to-do list item component. And within this to-do list item, I'm simply importing a common component here, a common button component, and rendering it within the to-do list item component. Now, what we want to tackle in this quick video is these relative imports here. We want to change it to absolute imports. So relative imports, as you can see, look pretty ugly. If we wanted to refactor this component out, let's say create another nested component within the to-do list item, then we'd have to refactor this out and navigate up another directory using this relative import technique. However, I'm going to show you how we can use an absolute import. So instead of all these navigating up the directories or the directory tree, we can just import directly from components slash button. So let's go back to the relative import for now. What we want to do is go to Gatsby node.js in the roots directory of our project. And we want to import const path equals require path. Then we want to export with exports and we want to export on create web pack config. And we want to set that equal to a function and we want to destructure from the arguments from this function. We want to destructure actions. Then we want to call actions dot set web pack config. And we want to pass in some configuration then to this function. And all it's going to take is a resolve object. And this resolve object is going to have a modules key. And this modules will be an array. And we simply pass to this modules property or this modules array, which directories we want to enable absolute imports for. Now, because we're setting the Webpack config here, we're overwriting the default Webpack config. We want to make sure that node modules, which is usually a default absolute import, we want to make sure that we pass node modules to this modules array here. So all we need to do is add a string here and type node underscore modules. So this will ensure that our node modules are being imported via an absolute import like is expected. Then we also want our source directory to be set as an absolute import. So all we need to do is type path.resolve. And within this resolve, we want to type underscore underscore dir name for directory name. And the second argument to resolve, we want to pass a string and simply just pass source. So it's going to look at the root directory of our project. We're going to say, okay, look, we want the source directory. We want to apply absolute imports to the source directory and the node modules. So then within this to-do list item component, then first of all, let's run Gatsby develop and then head on over to localhost 8000 where we can see our project in action. And obviously we've got the to-dos page. So let's go to the to-dos root. And we've got our to-do list here. So we can see if we go back to the code, our relative imports are still working. So we can still use our relative imports. But what happens if we get rid of all of this and use an absolute import? So remember, any component then within this source directories, we can reference as an absolute import here. So if we wanted to import any images from this images directory, we can use an absolute import. But obviously we're just using the button import here. So let's rerun Gatsby develop. And again, check it out in the browser, give it a quick refresh, and nothing's changed, which means it's worked. So our absolute import has worked, and if we wanted to, we could also use the relative import. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to check out my Udemy page, where I've got a bunch of in-depth courses on Gatsby.